Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to uh, solve this uh, linear inequality. Um, to be able to do that, the first thing we want to do is simplify, right? We want to get this down to a two-step inequality, if at all possible. So you can see, I have a little extra steps. I can apply a distributive property here to kind of simplify. And we're going to treat this, again, inequalities we're going to treat just like equations until the very end when we look at our solution. So I apply a distributive property. I get a negative 6x um, plus 15 plus 1 is greater than or equal to 4. I can combine these two as their like terms. So I have negative 6x uh, plus 16 is greater than or equal to 4. All right, so now I have this as a two-step inequality. You can look at my variable x. You can see it's being multiplied by negative 6 as well um, as being, um, added or being added by 16. So now I need to undo addition and subtraction first. So I add, or sorry. So undo addition of 16, I subtract 16 on both sides. And I get negative 6x is greater than or equal to uh, negative 12. Now to undo uh, multiplying by negative 6, I need to divide by negative 6 on both sides. Very important though, remember how this is another way how inequalities differ from equations. Uh, whenever we divide or multiply by a negative number on both sides, use the property of equality with a negative number. Um, only for multiplication and division, then we have to uh, switch the signs. So now x, that is that divides to 1, x is now greater than or equal to, these divide to a positive, greater than or equal to positive 2. Now let's go ahead and graph the solution. Again, you can see my solution is at positive 2. So what I'm simply going to do is I'll just create a number line including uh, at 0, because that will be in the same range. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Negative 1, 2, 3, 4. OK, so now all I simply need to do um, when looking at this one is go ahead and identify and look at this and say, all right, um, my value is x is greater than or equal to 2. So I go to my point 2. And I, what I want to do is I always like to put in a big, nice, open circle. Now, some of you might say, oh, that's this. That means it's part of the solution. Yes, but let's always test it, right, to help yourself out. So just plug 2 in as a solution. 2 is greater than or equal to 2. Is 2 greater than or equal to 2? Yes, that's true. So therefore, since it's true, we uh, make it a nice big, we fill it in because it's a part of the solution. Then I just test two other points. Let's do 4, and let's do negative 2. Is negative 2 greater than negative 2, or the greater than 2? No, that's false. Is 4 greater than or equal to 2? That's true. So you always go ahead and shade towards your true point. And it doesn't matter which points you choose. But therefore, ladies and gentlemen, you can see my solution. And that is how you solve and graph a, um, a multi-step inequality. Thanks.